Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So in this video, I will be discussing about Albert Camus and his philosophy of existentialism. So let's start. So as we already discussed about what existentialism is, that existentialism is the belief that your actions are not predetermined and that you are free of fate and have free will. Just like life is meaningless, that you have to create meaning in your life. So basically, Albert Camus and his thoughts on existentialism is that that he said that you never said that religion and society make you bound, but you are free to do whatever you want. So uh, he said that um, life, uh, there is no joy and sadness is there, which makes human being so absurd and that cut off from his religious, metaphysical and transcendental roots and man is all lost, all his actions become senseless, absurd and useless. So existentialists keep them away from God or religion. They believe that all because of uh, world wars that occur because of human beings. They just think that human beings have freedom and they can do everything. They have power. That is why they are alienated and sad. So in the myth of Sisyphus, basically uh, in that essay, basically he talks about um, the philosophy of absurd or absurdism. That in life he said that human wants clarity purpose and meaning but unable to find it what we expect and what we achieve in reality is two different things if in this situation you think that life is meaningless but suicide is not the option if you think that life is meaningless and you are going to commit suicide it is not the option but existentialists believe that if life is meaningless then it does not mean to attempt suicide but to live life as you live as you live before and to create your own meaning so, in the myth of Sisyphus, it is the story about an ancient Greek um, uh, Sisyphus ruler. Basically, uh, there is a place named Corneth where Sisyphus ruled and he was considered to be a clever person. His sin is that he loved life more than anything and never afraid of any god. God gave punishment to Sisyphus because of his rebellious nature. So, he had to roll the stone and take it to the hill. When he is trying every time stone roll back to the backward position, Sisyphus again did the same thing. So basically, Camus said that it, I'm impressed with Sisyphus' conscious nature that he is rolling stone again and again. According to Camus, he was an absurd hero. So he said that he was an absurd hero because he is engaging in a meaningless work, but still he find the meaning that, he, that his power is more than rock, so he get victory over the rock. Just like Sisyphus, we have to accept the situation and we do not escape from the things. We just not think about destination, but struggle and effort is important which make human beings strong. Sometimes from hopelessness, we find hope as well. So he basically, uh, from this essay, he basically gave us the concept that if you want to enjoy the journey of life, we have to struggle and that make humans strong. So in this video, we discuss about Albert Camus and his philosophy or the uh, concept of existentialism with the help of his essay, The Myth of Sisyphus. So that's all from my side. If you have any queries, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you for watching.